What is going on guys? Today we got 30 geckos that we're sending out and so I figured I'd make a video to show you how to ship leopard geckos in the summer. Selling in the billions each year, Rainbow Mealworms is your one-stop shop for all your insect needs. Their quality feeders and A-plus customer service keep me coming back to support the health and growth of all of our animals. Visit them today at rainbowmealworms.net to place your order. Okay, first of all, I recommend a company called Reptiles Express to help you figure out what size box you need. They do a great job of telling you how many eight ounce containers can fit in certain size boxes. This is an eight ounce container. It's typically good for holding geckos that are 15 to 20 grams, and it can also be used to put a divider in the middle and hold two geckos that are about 10 to 15 grams. Now these boxes do take a couple weeks to come in the mail. So thankfully we had one here from a previous shipment. These boxes are absolutely reusable. Just go through your checks and balances to make sure there's no mites, no parasites, no respiratory viruses or anything in your boxes that you've gotten from other breeders. I'm as confident as I can be that this box has nothing in it. It's been sitting in our garage for nearly a year unused and anything that it could have even possibly had would have died off by now. Because of that, the box is already assembled, but I wanna show you something to make sure you do every single time. Wouldn't it stink to lose a $300 gecko because you did not take the three extra seconds to put a couple extra pieces of tape on the box? Yes, that would stink. So we use packing tape. If you could get one of these roller thingies from Amazon, it's gonna help a lot if you're doing this by yourself because sometimes the flaps of the box won't go down and it's really difficult. So there's already one strip down the middle here. I'm gonna act as if that's not there. So what I would do is I would put a strip of tape down the middle, sealing the box there. Then I would put two more strips of tape going the same direction for a total of three strips going long ways and then three strips going horizontal. This makes sure that it's almost like a safety net. The tape is gonna layer on top of itself and catch itself if anything goes wrong in the shipping process. Especially a large order like this, we wanna make sure everything's good. Now you probably can't see that too well, but there's three strips of tape going long ways and three strips of tape going short ways. Creates like a fishing net. Now you might say, what about the label, Frank? We will worry about that later. First, we're gonna pack the box, then we're gonna weigh the box, then we're gonna make the label. So this is a 16 by 12 by eight box that you can actually get from Reptiles to You. Reptiles to You also sells great box products. They just don't tell you how many containers will fit in each size box. So that's why I would recommend going to Reptiles Express because it'll tell you. And so this particular box, 16 by 12 by eight, is gonna fit 24 of those eight ounce containers. So check it out. Now I'll show this in another video, but we basically use a hole puncher, a quarter inch hole puncher to punch one hole. We'll spray a little bit of water in the bottom and put one paper towel in there. We'll put the genetics over the top and then you'll see for summer shipping, cold packs are super important. We're gonna put that in last. This was a pretty nice gecko we just randomly threw in there. Inferno Emmerine, 50% head tremper, 50% eclipse. Temperature sex female, pretty nice gecko. Inferno's great for green coloration and we've specifically bred for a lot of green coloration in our animals over the years. Okay, now taking a look at this box here, we have six of the eight ounce containers that are holding 12 geckos. And then we have 18 containers that are holding one gecko each. So these are 24 containers. You're gonna notice a little bit of wiggle room and some space. That's where newspaper is gonna come into play and also our cold packs. Now the best type of cold pack to use is something called cryo pack. These can also be bought from Reptiles Express, Reptiles to You, Ship Your Reptiles. Any reptile shipping company should sell these. They're actually used in the medical industry for shipping organs and other temperature sensitive things that the medical profession needs to ship. And when they're frozen like this, that means that they are letting off coldness. So you just store them in your freezer and then you want them to let out coldness for the first part of the trip since it's hot. And the second part of the trip will most likely be hot as well because this package is going to California. So I'm gonna put one here, another one here. I usually put one of these for every small box, but this is a big box 
and I'm sure, I'm almost positive I could get away with two, but sometimes it's just worth the extra expense to make absolutely sure for a big order like this. So this is three packs. Each pack, when you buy them in bulk, will roughly cost about $5. So that's $15 right there in just cold temperature regulation technology. And you can see it's in between each row of geckos. Now I'll also make a video how to do this for a smaller box. You really don't want that cold pack sitting right on top or right underneath the gecko because it is freezing. It's really, really cold, but it drops to like room temperature really quickly. It's just meant to keep this box around 70 degrees and it does a great job of that. It'll let out coldness and then as the pack warms up, as it becomes 70 degrees in here, it will also reabsorb coldness if it needs to, to keep this box 70 degrees. So it's the perfect technology for shipping reptiles. Now you'll wanna take some newspaper and just kind of fill in the gaps. You don't, you know, Kind of rattle the box a little and see where the loose ends are. And you can just make the box so that it's not loose. But going back to my point about sitting it on top or on the bottom of the gecko, that would probably make the gecko really, really cold. So when we do a small box, we'll put a layer, a folded up layer of newspaper above the gecko. And then we'll put the cold pack right on top of the gecko in the summer when it's the hottest for shipping these animals. But for now, none of these are on the gecko. They're just all next to the geckos. So we're just gonna crumple up some newspaper. It's good to crumple it up and then try to jam it in corners and things like that. And be careful the lids don't start popping off. These are really good containers, so that shouldn't happen. But some cheaper containers, the lids can come off really easy. And just get it everywhere. Pack it really, really nicely. Pack it the way that you would want to receive a gecko. Now you don't want to squeeze the newspaper too tight because then it won't have a lot of cushion for absorption. But sometimes you do have to squeeze it kind of small to like get it in all these little nooks and crannies. Especially in a big box like this where there's a lot of room for stuff to be moving around. All right, so just a couple more here and I think I'm gonna be good. I saved these newspapers from rainbowmealworms.net whenever I order mealworms from them and it comes in handy for shipping. Okay, that's pretty nice. All right, so I'm happy with that. You can see I put newspaper down in this cubby, this cubby in between the cold packs and back here in these cubbies. So now this is fairly, fairly secure. You can see only the top is shaking, but as soon as we put the styrofoam on top, that won't be an issue. I'm just gonna lightly, gonna flatten this newspaper and we're gonna put some flat pieces of newspaper on top just to absorb some of that little bit of free space. There's like a quarter inch of free space between the styrofoam and the top of the tub. Perfect, so now you can see what it looks like. And as long as the styrofoam can close, boom, which it can, you're perfectly fine. Now I always like to double, triple check right before this point, make sure all the geckos are in there. I've counted them like two or three times by this point, maybe more, because again, how much would it stink to have a whole order go out and something was wrong and now you need to fix it. All right, so I always like adding a nice little touch, a handwritten note, thank you so much, gecko fan, best of luck with your breeding operation. Let me know how it goes. And then just, I like to leave a little reminder, health guarantee, seven days on any animal, live arrival guarantee, yes. And that's just something you have to do for your customers. If you're gonna be scaling a leopard gecko operation, you have to guarantee live arrival. I even like to offer in the calculation of shipping costs. So if something goes wrong with any of the geckos, I like to refund even that portion of the shipping cost for that gecko back to the person. So for a 30 gecko order, the shipping cost for each gecko might be, let's say like $5 each per gecko. So I would refund them if something happened, the price of the gecko, but also the calculated price of the shipping cost for that gecko. So, and of course, if it's just one gecko, refund the whole thing and you wind up being out the money, but you make a customer happy. And I tossed down a couple of business cards there, Geeky Gecko Creations, holographic cards, super cool. Got those from stickermule.com. One last check. Make sure no lids came off or anything like that. Nice and cold in here, I could feel it. That's perfect, because leaving Arizona, this box will go on a truck that might be 150 degrees. So it's really important that this is cold in here. That's why I wanted to use three packs. You know, just spend the extra $5 to make sure that the 30 geckos arrive okay. So now we're gonna close this up and we're not gonna worry about air holes just yet. This thing really comes in handy when you're by yourself. One down the middle, another one down the right side of the middle, and a third one 
down the left side of the middle. So three again, and then three the other way. Again, why be cheapy cheapy last second, risking the life of 30 animals or however many animals you might be shipping just to save a little bit of expenses on tape. Just bite the bullet, pay for good tape, pay for good boxes. It will be beneficial in the end. This doesn't really permanently adhere to the box super, super great. So what I like to do is always go over it like this every single time after. Don't get me wrong, it is tight, it is good, but you're gonna benefit from doing something like this. All right, just keep that in mind. Now, this box is ready to go. Now, most small boxes are only gonna weigh one to two pounds, and there actually isn't even a price difference between one to two pounds. I asked them one time, what happens if I'm not accurate with the weight of the box? And they said the package goes to its destination no matter what, but if you get caught being inaccurate too many times, they'll report you to Reptiles Express, Reptiles to You, whatever shipping company you're using, and then you'll have to deal with the consequences of whatever that company decides. So we're gonna go weigh this box and get an accurate description of how much it is. Now, because the scale doesn't have the biggest room to see the numbers, I use a bowl or something like this just so that I could see the numbers when I put this on here. So it's teared off right now. Make sure you hit tear so it's zeroed out with that bowl on the scale and you'll put this on there and I'm gonna write it down. It's 2,288 grams. Now we need to calculate that into pounds when we make our shipping label. So I like to go right over to grams to pounds calculator of Google and we had 2,288 grams, which is just about five pounds. That's not enough for me to round up. If it was like 5.5, if this was a number five, I would round up but I'm just going to mark it as five pounds. So I'm gonna leave this up here, then I'm gonna log into Reptiles Express. I like using Reptiles Express. Put in all my info and create my label. Now, after you put in your info, it actually shows you the temperatures of departure. So today, which is Monday, it's a high of 98. When I drop this package off, it's gonna be 98. All right, guys, so in this part of the video, I'm just showing how I taped on the shipping label. And then at the very end, I poked two small holes with the Phillips head screwdriver. Phillips head screwdriver is the screwdriver with the round tip. And you just want to stick a hole on one top corner on one side. If you feel it actually hit any containers, you don't need to go that far. That means it's already gone through. And just turn it in circles a little bit and then pull out and then do it to the same to the opposite side as I show in this video. If it was just one gecko I was shipping, I normally wouldn't punch any holes, but because there's 30 geckos in here, all of them are breathing out carbon dioxide. Just in the off chance that a carbon dioxide buildup happens in the box, I put a couple holes in there so some fresh oxygen can get through, but I really don't think it would be an issue. It's just a little bit of a safety precaution I took, especially since I used three cooling packs in that size box with all the styrofoam insulation, I think it's gonna be just fine. The concern of like hot air going into the box through just those two small holes is not that big of a concern, especially since I have three of those high quality cooling packs. So I wanna take in the package to FedEx, I'm back now, and that's pretty much it. In this video, I really wanted to focus on kind of just showing how to pack a box of leopard geckos, like the newspaper, the cool pack. And this was especially geared towards a big box, right? Because there's not a lot of videos out there showing you how to pack up like 30 animals and stuff. But I'll do another video that shows you how to pack up just one animal. And then another video that shows you a little bit more into the process of filling out people's information and creating the shipping label itself. So thank you guys, I'll see you in the next video, and until then, have a geeky gecko, great day. Peace.